Because um, skills is a devolved issue and the other nations have full responsibility and budgeting for their own uh, programmes, uh, legally I think I wouldn't be allowed to spend uh, England skills budget anywhere else. But of course we recognise that businesses um, are <coughs> nationwide, UK wide. Uh, and so there is guidance about, you know, clearly uh, a business might might derive knock-on benefits from um, an EOP project that would be equally relevant um, elsewhere in the UK. But we are just we are constrained about how the how the physical benefits of the yeah. England spend can be used. Could I have a supplementary, Richard? How would you deal with that? With, uh, for example, you have a lot of Scottish interests as well as UK English interests. Well, very simply, really, in terms of the British Trust project, we're not delivering this. But you take your shipyards in Glasgow. Yeah. And you talked about shipbuilding. How would you deal with the agenda that you described today in terms of what you're doing in the North West? Is that something you would see being applied across the whole of the UK, or would you talk separately to Scotland? We'd have to talk separately to Scotland. I mean, directly, I would think, I'm going to be careful about saying this, but if you, if you provide money to support engineering companies in the North West, they may not be working on contracts now, which may work for Scotland, but they, they could win orders in the future with us or with other people. <laughs> yes. So that, that's completely outside It is employer-led, remember. Uh, well, it's outside my uh, control. That's the future. 